Marco Pelkin was the flight director on all these flights. So I just wanted you to talk, say something about the last flight that you organized in, in Star City. Yes, well, it was... Uh, well, hello everybody. Hi, Marco. Uh, unfortunately, I can't see you. I'm, I'm uh, driving through the main streets of Los Angeles. I'm here at the moment, so I'll, I'll have to stop. But, uh, right now. Okay. Which, is, which is not online driving in Moscow, actually. So uh, there are some parallels. <laughs> and um, I would say that the last flight uh, that we organized was, uh, was also a double flight, basically. We did two flights uh, in that uh, flight campaign. And uh, it was a very, very exciting uh, sort of a uh, campaign for me because uh, there was a really large array of artists participating uh, uh, with all kinds of uh, very, very different projects. And uh, some uh, very well thought out and some uh, completely not thought out, which is, uh, of course, also an interesting experience uh, because uh, we had to actually uh, if you remember, uh, those of you who were on that flight, uh, we had to cancel some of the projects uh, that were not prepared properly and that were not safe to, to be flown. So everybody learned a few lessons from that one. Uh, that said, it was, uh, of course, one of the, as you say, it was the last flight of its kind for now. Uh, there have been a, a, a request for further flight. Uh, the problem being that, uh, unfortunately, we are not anymore uh, working uh, uh, with the Russian military. Uh, Star City has become a governmental organization, uh, even though military, of course, is also governmental, but in the military hierarchy, you have uh, certain uh, leeway and uh, things that are decided the chain of command uh, suddenly become possible. Whereas when you have a governmental sort of agency, uh, of course that's a very different kind of uh, setup. And as uh, every, everything in this world lately, uh, the prices of uh, fuel uh, were not subsidized anymore and the prices that we could get our flights for, which were uh, much, much below market rates uh, uh, for our art, artistic, uh, art science flights, uh, have become much more sort of closer to market rates lately. So uh, it's, a, it's a big issue uh, at the moment. But it was an exciting flight. I think uh, a lot of it, a lot came out of it. Of uh, that whole flight campaign, uh, Brady Beach had another flight in the same series. And it was really uh, uh, an incredible experiment, and I think we'll continue. We will try to continue with this kind of work. Uh, but who knows uh, in what kind of uh, setup? Uh, at the moment, as I said, uh, the doors are a little bit closed compared to what they were, how they were opened a few years ago. They are not discontinued, but uh, my sort of uh, 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 connections with which we could get these very, very favorable conditions to work in Russia, uh, uh, everything has changed because, as I said, Star City is not anymore a military organization. It became part of the uh, Ministry of uh, uh, Transport and so on. And uh, as things go, uh, there is a uh, few more aircraft that wants to be sent, and just everything changes. But that, that's formal, you know. The world is going, unfortunately, in that kind of direction. So we sort of, uh, with our flight campaigns in the, in the, from 99 to 2009, we really, we really caught uh, maybe the last sort of uh, moment of uh, utopian space yeah, as it existed yeah. in yeah. Russia in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and so on, right? Yeah. Those times are somehow over. Now there are two opportunities. I'm here in Los Angeles, uh, uh, the home of uh, SpaceX, and those guys are doing incredible work, and I think. Uh, 
and they are our generation, and they are all the ones who do ideas, and uh, I can probably say, I cannot say much, but there is development in that direction too. So things are evolving, you know, mm -hmm. things never stay the same, especially in, in space and aerospace, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, Mark.